And now we are set for game number two of this best of seven NBA final. All difficulty and never did get into it. Here is Jordan. Yes. By Kersey. Jordan teeing up. The first one gets a good look at the front of the rim and knocks it out in the bottom to start off. And immediately, Clyde's got to be saying, uh-oh. It's a three-on-one. Wexler, yes, and it counts. A facial served up by Clyde Drexler. And here it is now, the momentum, perhaps, that Portland's been waiting for. And they managed to bounce back with a pretty good performance. Good play by Portland to stop Jordan. Here's Kersey. Drexler up front with Robinson. And Williams, nice move by Porter. Well, according to Rick Adelman, his entire team was too soft in game one. It counts, and the foul. Chicago leaves the post area open so that Michael can flash, turn, face, and then so quick with the first step. 25 seconds of the quarter. Ainge, oh, he's on fire. Pippen. The Bulls with a 7-2 run. Here's Grexler, yes! And the foul. Oh, as you get another look, first at Pippen. You associate Pippen getting his assists on fast break transition, but he can do it in the half-court area as well. And then Grexler puts the pressure on with the drive to the basket. Another look at that drive by Grexler a moment ago. As it turns out, the official said the foul was committed before the shot attempt, so the basket does not count. Robinson now matched with Michael Jordan. Jordan with the fake. Yes. Jordan being guarded by Robinson knows that he can take him off the dribble. And then when he gets to the front of the rim, uses his body to protect the basketball, shields Robinson off. Michael Jordan. Yes. The post-up move. In game one, Jordan had turned left shoulder. This time he turns right shoulder away and leaves Clyde flat-footed, gets a clean, wide-open look at the basket. Not the case here tonight. Michael Jordan with 15. Blazers by seven. Drexler able to receive the pass and hit the shot. Lock does not begin until the ball is touched. Kind of like a wide receiver going downfield, holding off the defensive back. Jordan hit. Counts of the foul. First half, he went to his right shoulder and lost him. Again, right shoulder turn, knocks it down. Very similar to what he did in the first half. And the third. Drexler with the spin. Oh, what a move by Clyde Drexler. Michael's going to go for the steal, so you have to use that pullback reverse. There's the steal attempt, there's the pullback reverse, and then the beautiful finish with the left hand. Action. Paxson knows Pippen's running now. It's just a matter of putting it up there for Scotty to finish it off. Not shooting well. Here's Jordan giving it back. Paxson for three. Yes. Jordan puts the move on. Finds Paxson for three. Yes. Right about here. Watch. Middle. No. He goes right. Still knows that Paxson's waiting for him. Eventually gets it to him after he drew the defense away from the intended shooter. Go left, no, I'll draw the defense to me, then I'll go up and I'll still know where he is after looking off Drexler with the head fake, eye fake, and then Paxson in the groove now, feels it, knocks out his back-to-back -back threes. The run, Portland able to get back, Paxson for three, yes! And Pippen leading the transition. If you're the shooter, you just drag behind, find your spot, and you know that they'll find you in transition for wide open jumpers. Jordan, yes. The foul. So game one was three point night. Game two must be right shoulder turn night for Michael because he's knocking everyone down. Inside the stop Chicago. Hansen only played in 66 games this year, about 11 minutes a game, a lot of garbage time. Harden checked the 24, it's down to five. Michael Jordan with 31 on the floor. And Duckworth is out chasing Jordan, who found Grant in counts. And the foul. 
possession. Yes, One screen comes, the second screen comes. That's called the staggered double to try and get your shooter open. You got to get a good piece of the defensive players. One, two, and a wide open shot. Eight field goal attempts. That goes back to the last quarter. The rejection by Scott Williams. Well, the idea is right. Go down low inside, get a high percentage shot, but then it's the outstanding team defense. God wants Jordan to go, and Drexler's playing with five. Duckworth came over to help, and Jordan somehow was able to hit. A look at the two stars. Jordan shooting the jumper, and watch Drexler. He does not want to pick up the sixth foul. He keeps his hands down and relies on Duckworth coming over, but Michael brings it down and shoots it off his right shoulder. But unfortunately, just a few moments later, Drexler does pick up the sixth foul, is out of the game for the Portland Trailblazers. Oh, what a shot by Terry Porter. Shot clock to 10. have moved within two, three, one. Aiden's feeding Kersey, and they've tied the game at 95. Clyde Drexler, but then you were able to bring out a guy with a lot of experience in Danny Ainge. He's been in a lot of big games, and he helps you a number of ways. Breaks down the defense and scores with the clock running down, and then sees the entire floor, finds an open Kersey going to the basket, ties the score. Five seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Michael Jordan. Sometimes you're only open for a moment, and they almost missed that moment because Duckworth came over on the recovery, but somehow he was able to get it through. You see, he's open and waiting. Porter doesn't want to foul. Duckworth tries to get a piece of him, but Michael finds a way to score the ball. There it is. He's open. Hurry up and get it to him before they recover. How he does it, incredible. 36 for Jordan, 15 in the first half, 21 in the second half. Spotlight jumping out, here is Duckworth, yes! A clutch bucket by Kevin Duckworth, he's tied the game. Pick and roll, the great job is done by Porter, keeping his dribble alive, able to clear the two defenders. Four, out of two, and hits. And Williams. Nice pass from Duckworth. Danny Ainge executing. Jordan posting Porter. Duckworth over to help. Jordan squeezing inside and draws the foul. He went one on three. Ball in Michael Jordan's hands. You're talking about drawing some attention. Porter's playing him. Now as he makes his move, there's Duckworth. There's three. Buck. There's four. have come from way back and they now lead by eight as the Bulls take the timeout. Well, the guy who gets the assist is Michael Jordan for tipping it over, but after the series that he just finished up against Utah, it was just a matter of time before Terry Porter found it on the three-point range and then Ainge, moving without the ball again, gets another easy deuce for Portland. Many basketball available now on Amazon. Play basketball inside like you're outside.